Hey guys, I love takeout and I love butter chicken and today we are making up the easiest butter chicken in the world. Do it in 30 minutes and it is absolutely delicious. So cook along with me and let's get going. The first thing you want to do guys is add your chicken to a bowl and this is three boneless skinless chicken breasts that I've cubed up. Followed by our spices which is some curry, some paprika, garam masala, chili powder, and coriander and of course some salt and pepper and this is about a teaspoon of each and they smell so delicious now i know this seems like a lot of spices but if you don't have some just simply a leave them out add omit whatever you like it's your dish half a cup of plain yogurt and last but not least the juice from half a lemon And we'll just go ahead and mix this up until the chicken is nice and coated and is well combined. And just look at these colors, guys. They're just incredible. Now, I'm just going to set this aside for a few minutes, but you can leave it overnight, too, if you like. It's even better. Now, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter to a pan over medium-high heat, a tablespoon of olive oil, and we'll just let the butter melt down. A small, finely chopped onion. Three tablespoons of garlic and three tablespoons of minced ginger. And we'll just give these a stir around and let them saute for a few minutes until that wonderful aroma fills the air. I should mention too guys that the onion, garlic and ginger, some people put it in a blender to make a paste. But because it's minced and the onion is chopped so fine, I don't think we need the blender. We could just skip that step. Next up, let's go ahead and add our chicken in. Oh, oh. smell of vision time, my friends. It smells so good. Now we'll just stir and cook this until that chicken is cooked through. Another note here too is that a lot of people add extra spices at this point. But because I want a mild butter chicken, I'm not going to add any. I'm just going to go with what's in the marinade. It's going to be good. And just look at this, guys. So buttery and the aroma is absolutely incredible. It smells like a restaurant. And one thing to remember that I always say that a recipe is a guide, not a law. So feel free to do your own thing. Okay, our chicken is cooked through and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of tomato paste. Just to thicken things up or begin that process. And 680 milliliters or 18 ounces of tomato sauce. Oh, oh. Wow. Of course, we're going to give this a stir until everything is nicely combined. Now everything is mixed up and we brought it to a boil. I'm just going to reduce the heat a little bit, slip a lid on, and we'll allow this to simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes. After about 10 minutes off with the lid, <laughs> now it is time to add in three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Just look at this guy's creamy, rich and buttery. Now for a finishing touch, I'm going to add in another knob of butter, about a tablespoon, just to make it buttery. Mmm, this smells incredible. Oh my goodness, guys, just look at this buttery, wonderful chicken. What else can I say? But wow. Now we are going to serve this up with some basmati rice on the side. If this isn't butter chicken, nothing is. Garnish this up with some cilantro, and we are finished, my friends. Wow. And there you have it, guys. The easiest butter chicken you will ever make in 30 minutes. Absolutely delicious. Okay, let's grab some of this up and see what we have, guys. Oh, got some rice on there. Doesn't that look absolutely spectacular? Wow. This is going to be so good. Mm. 
so easy and so delicious. Just like takeout butter chicken. Absolutely fantastic. You gotta make this. Of course, I'm gonna have more. Mmm. Yummy.